morning everybody what is up welcome back to my channel welcome back to another week in my life in new york city i'm so excited it's a beautiful day the sun is shining and this video is sponsored by dove i'm so excited to be working with them on this video to promote their new product the dove ultimate i literally have it right here i've been using it for about a month now since i got it and i am obsessed i want to take you guys back in time to drop day when i got to go over to 14th street and check out the dove ultimate the first time for myself i am so excited you guys this product has been in the making for 10 years which i think is so cool it's water based i'm so pumped and to celebrate it i'm actually headed over to sephora on 14th street to check out their pop-up for their drop but they also sent me a little gift a mini fridge a dove mini fridge i am so excited it says you can call it a moisturizer a hydrator or a serum there's a ton of dove ultimates in there we've got stickers it says you can call it a moisturizer hydrator serum don't just call it a do it has glycerin which is a water-based technology that smoothly glides on humectant moisturizer which hydrates and nourishes your skin also an antiperspirant active which keeps you feeling fresh and protects against sweat very important and emulsion formula it comes in a variety of premium fragrances and scents let's see what fragrances they have Wow, I am set for the next few months. Jasmine and vanilla, cucumber, water, and mint, gardenia and aloe, coconut and sandalwood. Ooh, that's the one I'm trying to say. I love sandalwood. Two more, we've got orchid and blackberry and peony and rose water. Ooh, I love rose too. These are all so lovely. Well, thank you, Dove, for my new little mini fridge. All right, we're in the bathroom now. I just brushed my teeth, put on some lip balm. I also need to do my skincare. We're gonna try out this new Dove Ultimate. Again, I'm trying the coconut and sandalwood 48 hour antiperspirant. I'm so excited. I can't believe it's water based. That's so exciting. I need to smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells like a nice beachy hotel. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, it glides on smoothly. Very moisturizing. I literally feel it. You know when you put on deodorant and you're like, this is so drying and blah? This feels like I just wanna keep going. Oh my gosh, that just felt amazing. You heard it here first, baby. We're loving it already. We'll give it the true sweat test when I'm on the go in New York City today, but I'm pretty impressed. So yeah, that was a super fun day, and ever since then, I've been using this Dove Ultimate right here. It's not just deodorant, you guys. It literally feels like skincare for my underarms, which I love. Um, so I'm currently using the coconut and sandalwood one, which is the one I tried because I just became obsessed with it, but all the scents are amazing. I'm about to head to a workout right now. It's Wednesday, so we're starting off this little week in my life on a Wednesday, baby. And yeah, when we get back, we're gonna do a little sniff test. Yeah, that's, that's gonna happen. Um, and I'll be honest with you guys. So this is my little workout outfit. Nothing crazy. Gonna get my pump, my iron in, <laughs> and I'll check in with you guys in a little. All right, workout is done. Headed to a cafe nearby. The workout was so good. It just always feel so good. I'm now doing three times a week, which is awesome. I'm gonna go to a cafe, get work done for about an hour, and uh, take on the rest of the day. There are so many flowers all over the city, you guys. I've never really been to New York in the spring, and there's just tulips everywhere. Just got home. <laughs> And I was kind of having a little bit of a headache and went to grab my ice roller and then I, was, I forgot I had this thing that you just reuse it. I put it in my freezer and it has these little like acupressure points. I think that's what they're called. And it just feels so good on my face right now. So I'm gonna put this on for like 20 minutes. Currently going through merch picks. We did a merch shoot last week and I'm just going through, favoriting them for the photographer so she can edit. I also found this little, um aquarium situation on my TV and I'm kind of thriving. It is time for the sniff test. I've been in and out all day and the Dove Ultimate has got your back. The Dove Ultimate protects from sweat and odor for 48 hours. We love that. So I'm gonna smell myself now. How do I do this? 
literally smell nothing. Like I will put my face in my underarm. I am so impressed. That's amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. It's I can still smell the coconut and sandalwood, which is hype. I need to try some of the other scents, but this has just been the one that I've been loving, honestly. Um, so wow, that's impressive. I've just been in and out all day, and I've worked out, and I walked everywhere, and I still smell good. No sweat. I feel like my underarms also feel very hydrated too, which is really cool. I think one of the reasons Dove Ultimate is so amazing is they have glycerin, which is in typical deodorants, but there's just a lot of it in this specific deodorant stick, so that's why it's so amazing. Also, the humectant moisturizers in the product are also amazing for keeping your skin soft and hydrated longer. Also, the Dove Ultimate has ceramides in it to help promote your skin's natural ceramide. It also strengthens and fortifies your natural skin barrier, which is awesome too. All in all, I'm just very impressed with the texture of my underarms. That's something I've kind of just always been really insecure about, and ever since I started using Dove Ultimate, my underarms are just, they just look better, they feel better. I just think it's an overall awesome thing if that's something that you guys are struggling with. It's literally skincare for your underarms and I just think that is so awesome. I wouldn't lead you guys astray. Definitely go check it out for yourself. I'll have a link down below for you guys to check out Dove Ultimate for yourself. It's shower time. Just showered and I'm now walking around my apartment in these heels that I'm wearing to an event later to make sure they're comfy and so far, they're really comfy, so we love that. Currently making my second cup of coffee of the day. If you guys don't know, I only drink decaf these days. Every now and then I'll have normal coffee, but for some reason, even the smell of the coffee, the, the taste of coffee, it makes me feel more energized and productive, and I have a lot of emails to finish up and something I need to write. So, I figured a cup of coffee around 3.30 p.m. couldn't hurt me. Coffee is done. I showered, I did some skincare, and put on my Dove Ultimate deodorant, all the fun stuff. Threw my hair up because I just can't be bothered right now. My head's hurting a little bit because I've been looking at screens a lot today and yesterday. So I'm gonna put on some blue light glasses because I'm about to be on my computer even more. And also, ice roll. Things that just make me feel better, you know? Gotta pull in all the stops. <laughs> so, I'm hopping on my computer right now. I literally have a laundry list of things to do. All kinds of random things. Oh, I can cross that off. That's always a good feeling. Um, today's quote is, trust your creativity. Hey. So, I'm just gonna sit here and drink my decaf coffee and get this stuff done, listen to some chill lo-fi beats, lo-fi, whatever tickles your fancy, and uh, talk to you guys in a bit. And yes, I'm still wearing the heels. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm going to prom right now and I'm not mad about it. It's 60 degrees outside, I'm gonna not wear a jacket, I'm gonna be crazy. I'm going to an event right now, it's uptown, it's a fashion presentation, um, so they actually gifted me this beautiful dress to wear. I've got this fun little yellow bag as well. So yeah, we're gonna head over. I'm excited I get to meet the designers, I think. So that would be really, really cool. Here is a better look at the dress. It's so, so gorgeous. And the heels, of course, they're comfy. Little yellow bag moment. I just styled my hair, did my everyday makeup. Boom. The event was so much fun. I got to meet the designers, which was really, really cool. And it was just, I met some friends, a little networking, you know. The outfits have changed for the day. Now in my pink sweatsuit moment and a little bomber jacket. I am just, my social battery is a little low right now. It's been a busy few days. Uh, so, oh, the lighting just changed, hold on. So, change of plans for tonight. I'm just gonna have a me night and I'm gonna walk, I like, I feel like your life is so put together when you do stuff like this. I don't do this a lot. I'm gonna walk to the grocery store and buy ingredients for just dinner tonight. Like, you know, just like a couple things, things I'm just gonna throw together for a little meal, you know? So my mom always did growing up. She'd like go to the grocery store just for the meals that day, whereas like in college and now I feel like I'm buying things for the week for like all my meals, but it's so nice to just go and pick up a couple things, like, you know, some onions, some peppers, some chicken, and just cook it. So we're gonna attempt to do that. I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna make when I get there. I'm in between either doing my roommate Delaney from college and I used to make this orzo 
with pesto and vegetables and that was always so good. Or I like the idea of cooking onions and peppers with some chicken and rice. Also sounds really good, but I also might get there and see something and be like, ooh, that would go good with this. I also want like a crazy salad, like some mozzarella, tomato, but that's like an appetizer. So I don't really know what the vibes are, but you guys are gonna come along with me. We're gonna do some grocery shopping. It's golden hour right now, so it'll be a nice little walk. And then we'll come back and we'll make the food and maybe I'll Actually, I probably won't pour a glass of wine. I don't know, I'm not in the mood, but you know, that vibe. Kombucha and a wine glass, that kind of mood. Currently eating an apple on my way to the grocery store because they say to never go grocery shopping hungry because then you'll get too much food that you're not gonna eat in time and it'll go bad and that definitely happens to me all the time. I just got back, I'm turning on my lanterns. Um, I met a subscriber in there, so shout out Logan. She literally made my night. I decided on chicken with onions and zucchini and rice. I don't know. I just saw the zucchini, I saw the onions, it just felt right. All of a sudden I didn't want peppers. So, yeah, and I did buy some more eggs and bread because it's just good to have those essentials. You guys know I'm a big breakfast person. Oh, I got bananas, you know. Some frozen broccoli for if I wanna cook sometime in the future with some broccoli. I'm out of breath, but it was a nice little walk. It's so nice outside. Gonna light a candle, we're gonna get cooking, baby. Maybe listen to a little jazzy music, you know, the cooking vibes. All right, it's time to get cooking, good looking. Also, if you're new here, I change my outfit like a lot of times in the day. It's just a thing I do. It's not like I throw them in the hamper right away. I just like wearing different things. I, I was hot. Okay, I was hot. We've got the zucchini. We've got the onion. We've got the chicken. And the rice. We've got the zucchini and onions. I might have cooked the zucchini too long. It's a little soft, but I'm I'm a fan of soft veggies, honestly. Chicken, I use chicken seasoning for those of you who get mad at me for not. <laughs> and rice. I'm gonna make myself a little bowl. I need to light my dinner candle. This is my dinner candle when I'm eating meals. So, yay! Mid meal thoughts. I'm about to. This is such a good combo. And I got chicken thighs instead of chicken breast, which I don't always see at the store, but they had chicken thigh, like skin boneless, I mean. So good. I'm like always been the person that likes the darker meat more, so I guess that's why I like this better. Highly suggest. This is very good. I'm really proud of myself, okay? And for dessert, I'm one of those weird people that actually likes melon, and I love cantaloupe, so. Bon Appetit. One of my favorite things about making dinner, this sounds weird, is that I know I usually typically make, I usually typically <laughs> make leftovers, or like enough to have leftovers. This is my lunch tomorrow, or maybe dinner, but probably my lunch. I saved this from um, like when I got a to-go box at a restaurant one time, and it was the best thing I ever did because it's so perfect. Doesn't this look like a little meal prep moment? Like, wow, I mean, love that. Now for the cleanup, which is never my favorite part. All right, tonight's project, I'm in a cleaning organizing mood, um, as I am a lot of times. This amazing thing right here has changed my life. I have so many totes living in New York City, um, but it's just getting a little jumbled. So I'm gonna pull everything out and try to fold them up a little bit better. So, cause I have a couple totes in the corner of my room that are just like chilling there and I, Pretty sure I could fit them in here. So I'm gonna clear it all out and then re put it all in and see how much space I have. All right, about 20 minutes later. It might still look a little chaotic, but it's a lot better for me. And I was able to put some more totes in there. Closes perfectly. The only thing I couldn't fit was my duffel up there, but it'll just stay up there for now. This section, um, I put like bags that I wouldn't mind. Um, getting rid of like for example when someone comes over 
and I like give them, I don't know, something or I don't know, they just need a bag. These are the bags that I don't care about as much, so it's like, okay, I don't know, I just think it's good to have a section of like reusable bags that you can give to your friends, like if they need to take stuff home. And then I put a few under the basket here. These are just tote bags. These are canvas tote bags that I'd use every day. Up here, there's bigger um, bags for like groceries and stuff, and then I just put two other ones on top, so. That's the best I could do. If you guys have any other ideas, let a girl know. I could like stuff this duffel bag in here, but it's just so nice and I don't want to stuff it. So, but we did it, we did it. Hello, it is a lot later. I should be in bed. I think I, I don't know if I talked about this in the vlog, but I know we've talked about it in the podcast where like, you live alone, you can just go to bed whenever you want, you know? Like, there's no one telling me to go to bed. I don't have a roommate that's going to bed, so I feel like I should go to bed. <laughs> so sometimes, I don't know, I just, I much rather prefer working at night. Like I was trying to get my emails done today and I got a few that were really important, but just now I got them all done <laughs> and it's 11.54 PM. So I don't know. There's just something about when it's dark out and no one else is doing anything. I like, don't feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> it's so bad, it's so bad, but I don't know. Everyone works differently and I like doing this at night so then I can have a more leisurely morning. But I don't know, I've just talked to people recently about that and I feel like everyone has their own preferences. Some people like to just relax after, you know, 5 p.m. or whatever it is. Some people don't have that privilege, obviously, and then others prefer to just work super late at night so they can have an early or a, you know a later morning or a leisurely morning whatever it may be um so i'm feeling good my whole apartment is clean i literally think every vlog is like okay so my apartment's finally clean i just like feel like a tornado happens every day and i cannot be sane unless my apartment is in order so it's something i enjoy and it really helps with my anxiety weirdly enough if i'm feeling a little overwhelmed stressed like Adrenaline's pumping, I clean. So I don't know, it gets my mind off of things. My therapist was talking to me about mindful activities and cleaning is one of them, drawing's another. Um, oh, there was others that I wrote down that I wanted to try cooking. I think that's why I'm just feeling really good right now because I cooked tonight, I cleaned, and those are things that are very mindful. So anyways i'm gonna make some sleepy time tea and go to bed and i'll see you guys in the morning good morning everybody it's thursday morning i think i slept weird my back kind of hurts so i'm gonna start off my day with a good little foam roll here coffee is being made it's gonna be a good day i just feel it oh my gosh this feels literally magical Okay, so I'm gonna try a new breakfast that I've never made. You guys have seen me make little egg burritos before. Where, well it wasn't even burritos, I basically just made scrambled eggs and put hot sauce on them, called it a day with some flour tortillas. This morning I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna add avocado. You guys know I've been liking to add avocado to my breakfast. A lot more filling and tasty and just all the stuff. So, let's see what happens. Voila, I will update you guys with how this goes. Avocado, scrambled eggs, a little salt and pepper, and hot sauce. Let's see. Okay, you guys, it's a little bit later. I just did my makeup and my hair. I just slicked it back. I was just getting tired of it. I, I'll figure that out later. I just love having my hair out of my face a lot of the times. Brooke and I are about to do an interview with a news outlet that I'm really excited about. So stay tuned. It'll be, we'll post it on our Instagram when the article comes out, but I'm pumped. It's just on like webcam. So, but I still just got dressed up. I'm even wearing heels just for a little extra confidence boost. I'm gonna hop on to my computer and take the call. And I'll check in with you guys after. We're having a big nail day. We're doing all the nails. All right, now time I'm watching my video that I'm gonna post this Sunday, having my leftovers for lunch. I'm already hungry for lunch. All right, we are headed out for the day, and yes, I've changed again, okay. Um, I just slicked my hair back. I really just can't be bothered right now. It's a little bit chillier outside, so I needed something thicker, otherwise I would have continued to wear that set. It's so cute. Um, same shirt, just this black bomber, and then my green cargos. We're going to get a manicure right now. I'm very excited. I think we're gonna do short and just like a color. Like I just wanna like, 
I don't know. I have to think about what color I want. I have to like think about what I'm doing the next few weeks, you know? I'll think about that on my walk to the nails. And I think after I'm gonna get a pedicure too, the place I go to for nails, they don't really do pedicures often. Um, so I'm gonna walk into this place that my friend Katie recommended me. are done just grabbed a snack nearby now about to get a pedicure okay I'm back now and I'm another day another walking around my apartment in heels to see how comfy they are really happy with these these are the toes I got the pedicure was absolutely amazing and she gave me a neck and back massage which was fire flames I didn't realize how bad I needed it so Great little excursion. I didn't really vlog much out today. I'm sorry. I stopped at Kelly's apartment on my way back and borrowed. I borrowed this stunning dress from Kelly. It's a little blazer dress with furry um, sleeves, so that's fun. And then I also borrowed these pants from her that have like a little situation going on right here for a music festival I'm going to very soon. Hello, everybody. Um, it's been a little bit now. Today's just been the most random day, and the weather's weird. It's just a random day. Um, but hopefully you're enjoying the vlog. Tonight I'm going to dinner with my friend Seb. We went to school together. I feel like I've said this a couple times now, but just so you guys get the vibes. She's awesome. Anyways, there's this really amazing Italian restaurant in the West Village that is literally so hard to get reservations for. And so we just like finally got a reservation for a random night um, in the future. And today it's fine the day. So we're like, okay, we're going to dinner tonight. So I'm excited to catch up with her. I haven't seen her in a little bit. Um, my hair is just like all over the place. So I kind of recurled it and then just put it up because I was just done with it. And then I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this little knit set. It's super comfy, super cute. I don't know, I was just feeling, feeling the vibes. Gotta love a good set. And then I'm wearing these fun little Western style boots. Kind of a really random outfit, honestly, <laughs> but whatever. I'm gonna bring a leather jacket. And yeah, I'm so hungry. I'm so excited to eat yummy Italian food. Let's go. Um, Back home now, dinner was amazing. I just took a shower and I self-tanned, who is she? Um, so we'll see how it turns out. I usually get spray tanned, so I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Friday everybody we are going to the gym let's start the day Fridays are fun because it's group training with Katie, so we had a blast, and now I'm in the best mood, and I'm headed to go get myself a pataya bowl, maybe a green juice. Ah, it's the weekend! It's a little bit later. I got back. I put my flowers in a vase. I did my hair, you know, just the whole nine yards. And yeah, it's officially Friday. I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much again to Dove for sponsoring this video. Check out the Dove Ultimate. I will have it linked down below. And yeah, again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. More to come always. I'll see you guys next time for our next video. Bye.